Welcome back to Chips and Tricks. In a previous episode, we looked at the typical errors in the production of blindfold threads and how to avoid them. The topic of blindfold threads is back on the agenda today. You may have already asked yourself, why does my thread become too large in a blind hole? This is caused by the spirality of a tab. As you learned in the previous episode, spiral tabs are best suited for blind hole threads. This geometric feature is important because the chips have to be transported upwards in the case of blind holes. With short chipping materials, you can easily avoid this problem by doing without a spiral tab and using a straight fluted tool, such as a form C-tab. Unfortunately, this is not a solution for machining medium and long chipping materials, such as steels. This is because the spirality of the drill is vital here. And this is why we also encounter the problem that can arise with a spiral tab. It jams. I will now explain to you how this happens. On the one hand, the error can occur during incision. The actual force generated by the high helix angle pulls the tap into the pre-drilled hole faster than it is suitable for the pitch. This is also referred to as the corkscrew effect. The corkscrew what? <laughs> Imagine a real corkscrew that drills into the cork with the help of a spiral. To open a bottle of delicious wine, you don't need much effort to turn the corkscrew. This is then pulled automatically through the cork thanks to the spiral shape. But what happens if you are so thirsty that you press down too much from the top? Misalignment takes place upon incision before the corkscrew effect can set in. The shape of the thread's profile changes, it becomes too large. If you were to screw a screw in here, there would be too much play. On the other hand, the error can also occur when unscrewing the tab. To be specific, if the tab has too much play and it miscuts the thread when turned back. This means that the tab does not return exactly the way it went in, but slightly offset. The result? The thread pitches become too wide and the thread too large. The solution? It's about using the right chuck. If your blind hole is too big, I recommend two options. Firstly, a chuck with a rigid connection. Shrink-fit chucks, for example, are suitable for this. These form a rigid connection with the tool and guarantee a high degree of concentricity. Since you cannot compensate for pitch errors with shrink-fit chucks, you have to ensure that the spindle runs absolutely synchronously. This means that the speed and the feed rate are perfectly matched to each other. The second option, we recommend synchro thread chucks for high volume production. This chuck can compensate for small pitch errors on modern CNC machines using durable polymer metal spring and damping elements. Our chip tip for ensuring the optimum size for your blind hole thread. For short chipping materials, you can use a straight form secluded tab. The following applies to medium and long chipping materials. Clamp correctly and you'll be happy. 